Hi guys, it's Mel Jacinto of Trotec Laser Canada. We're here today at the ASGIA show, one of the largest sign and graphic show in the world. So I just want to introduce you to our latest product right now, the uh, GS1200. This was launched at the Drupa show in Germany. So it's fully equipped with a full automation system. So today we have Bernard. He's the, uh, the managing director for uh, Toltec uh, Automation Division. He will explain how the whole thing works. Bernard. Thanks, Mel. So here we have the, the feeding station, the feeder. We can load paper up to 27 by 20 inch. It's very easy to adjust. You can load up to 7,500 sheets of paper. They are thin, of course, example of copy paper, uh, to the feeder so it runs fully automatic for some hours. Now here you see two units they call tornadoes. I'll open that and you see what happens. There is fans in there and belts. So the paper will be loaded upwards and then the belts will transport it to the adjustment station here. We have a sensor, an ultrasonic sensor, which just detects single sheets or double sheets. So just to make sure that we never have a double sheet in the system, it always should be a single sheet. Second thing you see here is the adjustment station. And you see that green is a transport belt with a vacuum underneath, some holes in there, and we're gonna adjust the paper to that reference edge here. So the angle ensures that at the end, if we hand it over to the cutting station, the paper is really precisely adjusted to that edge. So I'm just gonna walk over to the cutting system station, and before I do that, I just push the start button, and you might see a piece of paper running into the cutting station. We'll be adjusted here, and then inside the cutting station, while we watch the cutting process, we have a laser on top of that with a free axis galvo on the axis. We can we have different uh, uh, working fields predefined uh, from from uh, 10 inch up to 20 inch. If you have 10 inch, the spot's smaller, the, the work's more precise, it's finer cut. If you have a 20 inch like here now, you see we can cut a larger area. Now what is unique about this, we cut on air. That means we have nothing underneath the paper. So there's no back reflection, there's no burn marks, and the cutout parts just fall into a bin, as you might see here. Once the cut is, well, we have a good exhaust system and we have um, electrical driven axis, so it will be software adjustment being done by the size of the paper. Once the cut is done, you can watch it a bit. I'll just open the door and, walk, and explain a bit more on the inside of the system. And of course, the door has to stay closed while we do the cutting process for laser safety reasons. I'm gonna open the door. You see some dust, but that's just because on the show we don't have the real good exhaust system. We couldn't take it with us. It's too big. What you see here is chain on both sides with this patent pending gripper system. They are spring loaded and we just hand over the paper to that grippers. They are open now, they are closed and they will take the paper all the way through the cutting station on both sides. This side is always the reference edge that's fixed. The other side is movable on the electrical axis. Laser as said is here, it's protected and covered and it's on a C-axis depending on the different uh, counting field sizes. That sensor detects whether we have paper in and if you have very large sheets like 27 inch then we, we have to cut in two sections. What's very unique, we need to hand over the pre-adjusted paper extremely precise to that chain feeding system. And even a very, uh, even a mill of inaccuracy would mean that we have some, some, some shape error in the paper. And that's why we want it grip, we stretch it. I'll show that maybe later on, so that it's completely flat in the cutting area, and that ensures high precision cutting. Some machines on the market, they have mesh underneath, or they have pins where they hold the paper in position, and with that unique chain feeding system, we can ensure that we have nothing underneath. Yeah. The advantage is clean, good, perfect quality cuts, and the debris falls out, and you don't have to have an extra debris handling system later on.
I close the door and we go to the unloading station. So that's the unloading station, same capacity as the loading station, of course. And uh, we have sensors in, we'll move the table down, the more paper will be unloaded. I'll just do that manually here, just let it go a bit down there. Uh, do it, no, we'll do it be done normally by itself. We have sensors that it's always in correct position for the unloading. We just make sure that the paper will be, cut in paper, as you just have seen, will be unloaded flat and that it just doesn't collapse in itself or whatever or, or interacts with other papers. It's just been moved out and, and unloading quite flat to the unloading station. So Bernard, uh, can you please explain to us the, how the camera system works? Of course, Mel. I'll, do. I'll just open the door here, and we have actually now one. We have two cameras in the system uh, to identify registration marks. And we adjust by software the laser beam path in X, Y rotation and stretching factors, um, just to have a very precise and clear cut. On, on the word piece. I'm just going to push the button, load a piece of paper and you'll see that uh, when the camera system will be adjusted. The paper moves into the machine. Now it's been stopped, stretched. The camera re uh, identifies the registration marks. That just takes less than a second. As you see the cut, um, the laser already cuts the work pieces, the paper. And once it's been cut, I'll show you how precise that can be done with the camera identification just to avoid that. One moment guys, it comes out of the system, I'll break it out and registration is really important on cuts like that. Yeah, you just want to cut it out here and not in a different position uh, and it shall be in accordance to the print. We have also weakened it here and perforated here and you see it's a perfect clean cut. So how is this compared to the uh, conventional die cutting system? Well, well, the idea behind that concept is that we are more and more digital printing in the world and we want to go to digital die cutting. That means it's all software control. You don't have to make a die, it doesn't cost time. You can just load a piece of software and the laser cuts the work piece. You can also personalize that, individualize that. You have a database, you can download names, other, other variables into the software and each piece, piece of paper, each work piece will have a different cut or different cutting shape. And, and all that can be done in seconds instead of hours or days making a die. So what particular type of uh, CAD software you can use on this system? Well, we, we have our Speedmark software, which is identical to all our Galvo marking systems. It's, uh, it's a system which shows you here your cutting area. You can load into any PDF or DXF files from any CAD system. And all of the CAD systems we use in the world nowadays have that export functions. So you just load the, the outline, whatever, the parameters in, the DXF or the PDF, import it here and just adjust the laser parameters to your cutting lines, to your shape, to your objects. So that's what you do even on your desk or on the machine. Once the operator comes into picture, we have a touchscreen HMI software and, and the operator can just click and say I want a single sheet, a job, continuous or just empty at the loading station, whatever. Uh, stops it, starts it, rate of feed, it, it speed, many other functions. Well, thanks again, Bernard, for going through that in-depth demo on the uh, GS1200. If uh, you have any comments or questions, please uh, leave them down below.